Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, September 13th, 2023. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar today. Some data had been published overnight, most likely they were the data from Japan. Large manufacturing conditions improved for the in the third quarter uh, from minus 0.4 to 5.4 beats the expectation of 0.2%. One of the key events of today is the GDP data from the UK and as you can see there is a big deterioration in the GDP in the UK uh, from the level of half percent to minus half percent which is worse than the forecast of minus 0.2 percent. The industrial production dips to minus 0.7 percent and the manufacturing production dips to minus 0.8 uh, percent. Uh, so all of this uh, is uh, uh, very very uh, unsettling uh, data the set of the data here including the trade balance is not looking very well for the EU okay uh, industrial production uh, from the eurozone mm, this kind of data is scheduled for release at 11 uh, o'clock a.m. and this time uh, we have the expectations of uh, another deterioration from 0.5 percent to minus 0.7 percent um, NISHR GDP estimate uh, previous reading was 0.3%. Now we know it will definitely uh, uh, deteriorate lower. The key event of today is the core CPI data and the CPI data from the US. As you can see, core CPI should stay at the same level of 0.2% uh, and the CPI should increase from 3.2% to 3.6%, making additional pressures for the uh, for the uh, Fed to uh, cut the interest <coughs> rates. <coughs> uh, then we got the crude oil inventory scheduled for us at half past four, uh, one of the most important events of today, and then Cushing uh, crude oil inventories. At the end of the day, the federal budget balance uh, will be released. Uh, this time it's at eight o'clock p.m. So we got a plenty of the very important data releases and I think that we should start with the British pound because there is plenty of the uh, data from the UK today and then we are going to take a look at the US dollar related pairs as, pairs as well. So uh, let's take a look at the British pound. <coughs> We are going to switch to the 4 hour chart. We already see the reaction on the 5 minute chart. The reaction was to the downside of course. And as I was um, talking about this pair yesterday, there is very important technical support located here. And the market is right now testing it and it's very, very, very close to breaking uh, lower. So the next technical support is 1.2394 and there is one more just uh, below it at 1.2367. Uh, 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 the key technical support uh, is located at the level of 1.23, 1.2310, um, I think, yes, 1.2307 to be honest. And this is the key technical um, support. So when we take a look at this situation here on the on the british uh, pound we can clearly see this um, this technical support has been uh, violated we have the new local low at 1.2440 and there is still a big uh, bearish pressure on the on the pound to move lower towards the one of the next uh, technical um, support levels only a sustained um, breakout above this level here 1.24 uh, 1.2547 would change the outlook to uh, bullish the market uh, the momentum on the british uh, pound is negative is weak approaching the level of the uh, 30 uh, seven uh, so uh, any another slide to the downside would generally um, extend the uh, probability of the movement uh, lower and the technical supports uh, that you see on the uh, chart might be hit very very uh, soon so that was the British pound to uh, US dollar let's find out what's going on uh, on the um, British pound to the Japanese yen let me just uh, calibrate my uh, my 
my chart. So this is the five hour uh, chart. As you can see, the market reacted negatively to the data. So it moved lower and the situation with the British pound to the Japanese yen is uh, kind of a different than to the American dollar. You can see the um, key technical, uh, let's say, uh, support located at 182.65. This is the technical um, support. Support Basically, this is the, uh, the market um, that is roughly uh, uh, m testing this zone, the zone of the of the support. One is uh, the one between 183.20 to 182.65. So, as long as we're trading above the zone, uh, the outlook uh, remains slightly bullish. However, we can see that uh, the British pound to Japanese yen was recently rejected from the 200 periods, 100 periods moving average. Now it's testing 550 periods moving average. The momentum barely moved above the level of 50 uh, 55 was the highest reading and now we are back under the level of 50 again so the bearish pressure is still uh visible on this um, on this market the next target is seen at 181.35 so that's the target for the um uh, for the bears and one more target for the bears much more important is located at 180.40 uh, 42 uh, only a sustained breakout above this l l swing high 184 41 might open the road towards 185.74 or 186.03 of, of otherwise we will uh, likely remain in this horizontal trend that is a little bit skewed to the downside <clears throat> okay so that was the uh, British pound uh, let's take a look at the US dollar index. This is for our chart of the US dollar index. As, as you can see, uh, after a short break and uh, correction uh, to the downside, this correction was apparently, let me just take a look my uh, price range uh, tool. This uh, deterioration was minus 0.7%, so not, not even uh, one uh, percent not like the uh, the last one uh, the last correction was almost uh, one and a half so that's a double okay so we got the slight let me say pullback lower and now uh, we need to break above 100 periods moving average which is at 104.87 and then of course head higher head towards the uh, level of the last swing high 105 point 13 of course we will mark it as uh red uh, level so in that situation in the situation when we are uh, in a continuing very strong uptrend uh, every pullback uh, now and then will happen that's that's obviously um, necessary for the healthy market uh, so we are not just uh, going up and up and up like no tomorrow uh, what is the momentum what is what is all about with the momentum we went down from the extremely oversold market conditions on a four hour chart we went down to level 42 then we bounced to 58 then we went down to 44 and now we are you know around the level of 50 which is the neutral level so market might be ready for another movement uh, to the upside however we need to pay attention um, to this technical support the technical support is located at the level of 104.42 it was tested two times already and we cannot go below this below this level because in that situation we will make a new low on the momentum and we will head towards the level of 30 and the level of 30 is really really a weak level for the for the bulls which means this uh, oh, minus 0.7% correction might extend even even you know, lower. Otherwise, US dollar index uh, outlook is bullish. The market is continuing the uptrend, keeps making the higher highs, higher lows. No indication of the uptrend termination or reversal on the US dollar index yet. And last but not least, let's take a look at the um, at the crude oil because we got data uh, from the um, about the crude oil today. So let's just take a look at the crude oil. As you can see, we just broke above the last high. There you go. We just uh, the the crude oil generally is going up. We made uh, an um, um, kind of an analysis 
uh, yesterday and this this situation here that was apparently as some sort of the um, let's say ending diagonal didn't actually work out so we got the confirmation that despite the obvious technical pattern this market wants to go higher like no tomorrow so what it it looks like is like let me just zoom out a little bit what it looks like right now um <laughs> okay let let me move this to here so 8491 is the technical support it's obvious so and uh, let me just take one more uh, one more line uh, from here uh, to here so you can see what i mean okay so maybe just maybe what we are doing right now is the wave five because it's clear that there is somehow wave one here abc correction wave two one two three four five waves in the wave three and now this looks like a kind of a triangle in wave four and now we are doing wave five which is in line with the situation on the momentum because let me just grab some um let me just grab some arrow there you go because we are making higher high right on the price and on the momentum as you can probably see it right now we are not making higher highs we are coming down so we have a new high but on the price but no new high on the momentum clear bearish divergence between wave three high and wave five okay so once the hit the the bulls will hit the target for the wave five the market should reverse um uh, lower for now they are still um they are still uh going up uh basically breaking above the yesterday's highs making still higher highs so basically the momentum well the momentum is very very strong right now entering again the extremely overbought market conditions so please keep an eye on today's data because we might see some sort of the correction pullback or even a reversal after the uh, data uh, uh, of the uh, current stock of, of the crude oil in the us that's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.